So I recently decided to give the three fishing tackle box monthly subscriptions a try. I was I ordered all three on the same day. They had a discount price of five dollars for your first month on all three of them. As you can see, I've got two here. Mystery tackle box. I had missed their cutoff for the month of December, so I got to wait until January to get that one. But um, I'll go ahead and go through these, and we can take a look and compare them and see what kind of deal we got. So the first one I'll do, I'll go over the the um, tackle grab one. So the one thing I did notice, I went back through and looked at some other videos online, and I got a different box than what the normal subscribers were getting for the month of December. Whereas with Lucky Tackle Box, I got exactly what everybody else was getting. So this one had a lot less in it than what everybody else was getting. So that was kind of different. Um, the first thing that's in the box is the card. They don't do a monthly magazine like some of the other ones do. You'll see in the Lucky Tackle Box, they have a little magazine. But it's just a card, and it shows you inside what you got. And you can see, I only got four items in the box. Well, five. So, we'll take a look at those. So, the first thing I got were the Secret Lures Chubby Tube Lures. And they're like a green color. You can see they've got the flex in them. Just a normal looking tube lure. Nothing too special. Um, I also got Stupid Tube Jig Heads to go with them by Secret Lure. It says new. And there's two of those in there. And there's four of the tube lures. And the prices on those, according to the card, are two oh five for the four pack of the tubes and two oh four for the two pack of the jig heads. The next thing we got in here, I did get this little um this says June two thousand fourteen on it, but it's a little fishing tip card. And it's got like a little hole punched out of it, so I guess you can keep them on some kind of ring or something or in a binder if you have something to keep them in. The next thing I got were the Z-Man Elaztec Finesse Worms, pumpkin colored. So these, um, these are 7 inch 8 pack. And these are the ones that you can stretch really far and they don't break it very easily. Really good if you're catch an aggressive fish and you doesn't you don't want to get your worms all torn up and those are valued for the eight pack at 549 and then I got this um, this red eye shad strike king lipless crankbait and you can see it's got it's a shiny blue with the red eye to look in the red gill to look like a wounded fish the two bigger treble hooks on it and it does it does have rattles in it too and this one if I can get the back to focus there's it's a neon shad is the color and this was valued at 579 and this says this goes to a depth of five eight to ten feet and then the last thing I got in here was this this Z-Man Chatter Frog with the replaceable easy skirt and you can see and it's also got the Elaztec trailers so you can see it's got the plastic legs for the trailers and then this here's the replaceable skirt and then you can see the jig head with the, the little chatter plate on there And that was the most expensive thing in the box. That was valued at seven nineteen. And that was it in the in the intro box. So it wasn't too bad. Not a bad value for five bucks. I got let's see, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-three dollars worth of stuff in here for five dollars. Not bad. It was just kind of surprised me that I got a different box than what the normal subscribers were getting. 
All right, so we'll put that one to the side. And now we'll take a look at the Lucky Tackle Box. Now, the Lucky Tackle Box one, I was really Im impressed with some of the stuff I got. There was a lot in here. You got, they start off with, like I said, some of them have the monthly magazine. So this has the Big Bass Monthly. And you can see Brooke Thomas on the cover. And this is, it's just all full of interviews, recipes, and then in the very back it lists what came in the box and the values. So I already had opened this one, but you can see the first item I got, the most expensive item in the box. This is valued at $15.95, and it's called the a Who Rag. And you can see it's specially made for Fish Hound who, if you don't know, is the parent company for Lucky Tackle Box. So pretty cool design. It's got like a blue camouflage and then the Fish Hound logo all over it. And if you look at the package, it calls it the Better Bandana. And there's a whole bunch of different ways you can wear this. You can see it's, it's a one-piece tube, if I can get it open here. So there's, so you can fold it different ways depending on how you want to wear it. And on the, on the package you can see a bunch of the different ways to wear it, like a ponytail scrunchie, face mask, do rag, beanie, neck scarf, headband, girls wearing it over her hair, and then he's got like the tactical mask on. And if you go to their website, they show a video that shows all the different ways to fold it. But this was a big hit. My wife and daughter really like this one. And then again, that one was valued at $16. So some of the other things I got in here, I got a bunch of these little discount cards. You can see they're all pretty much the same. You you buy $5 worth of stuff and, they, and then you put in the code for a lure and you get the lure for free. And then also the Lucky Tackle Box sticker. So there were like four of those cards and Lucky Tackle Box sticker. And then the next thing I got were these Gator Minnows, Shine and Ice, Shad. And you can see they're like a clear little minnow with a little tail that comes, kind of looks like a little worm dangling behind it. And they're clear and they have like a green material on the top of them and they have dark flecks throughout them. And this says for Lucky Tackle Box 5 count. And those are valued at $5.69. And then the next item in here, I got some Mustad treble hooks. Ultra Point, Kevin Van Dam Elite Treble Hooks, 2X Short, 1X Strong, 6 of them, size 2. And those are valued at $5 a piece. Really nice treble hooks if you want to replace some on your um, some of your lures. Or you break some. But must add hooks, nice hooks. Next thing in here is the Yozuri. 3db 3d prism wave motion square lip shallow floating crankbait and you can see it's got the square bill on it and this one's a bright red and you can see it's kind of clear but it's if I can get the light to reflect on it There we go. So it has like a prism inside it. It's supposed to reflect the light to get the fish's attention. So you can kind of see it reflecting the light there. And it also has some rattles in it too. So that'll be an interesting one to try. That one's valued at $8.99. And then we've got the Strike Pro. And uh, this is says it's a gray ghost color goes to depth of four feet and the model number on this was sp029 and that was different than what they show in the book the book shows a cranky deep diver that goes to 12 feet and those have a totally different model number than this one so i looked this one up and it was like a juro lure and I noticed that on some of the other unboxing videos, they also had gotten different ones and didn't get the the deep diver one. But they were all valued the same. They're all seven ninety nine a piece. And you can see it's it's like a translucent color, and you can even see the little ball bearings in there that rattle around, and then the the long bill on the front of it. 
and the two smaller hooks. And the last thing in here wasn't wasn't on the list. It's just a free sample that they threw in. Shower and hunt scent eliminating shampoo and body wash. And for those of you that don't hunt, you use this before you go out to get rid of your scent so that the deer and other animals can't smell you. I had seen a couple videos where people kind of weren't sure what it was. And it also looks like they have a fish and wash odor eliminating hand soap that you can use after you've been fishing to get rid of that fishy and bait smell. But overall, really good box. I like this box the best out of the two of them. I was kind of disappointed that the tackle grab box was different than what everybody else was getting this month because the, the normal one had a little bit more stuff in it and had some nicer lures, had a bonus lure, and just had a lot more stickers and everything else in it. But um, that's pretty much it. When I get the mystery tackle box next m month, I'll go ahead and post that one online too. Thanks for watching.